Hi, my name is James Bird and welcome to the sixth video in this series on JavaScript. In this video, we'll be exploring conditional logic. Conditional logic statements are one of the first logic needs in any programming language. They allow a program, or more to the point, the program, to make a decision based on variable conditions. For example, if the time is 11 o'clock, it is the morning. But if the time is 1 o'clock, it may be the afternoon or the morning, depending on the value. The if statement is the simplest and most commonly used conditional statement in programming. It can be thought of as a fork in the road decision marker. So if we explore our, our JavaScript file here, we can see a basic if statement. We have a variable, in this case time, and we have a conditional logic statement. In this case we're saying if the time is less than 12, then we want to output a string to the console called morning. So let's see this in action. So we can see that indeed time, which is the value 11, is actually less than 12. But we could, for instance, see what happens if time is greater than 12. So if the time is, say, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and we view this, we don't get any value because there is no other conditional logic. It's branching around this particular condition. So the next one that we want to look at then is a way of being able to give an outcome if the statement, in this case time, equates to false. In order to do this, we can use an else clause, which can be added to the end of the if statement to offer a desired outcome if the if statement evaluates to false. So in order to do this, we can simply add an else statement and just put an evaluation of, for instance, afternoon. Save that, and we can view that. And we can see that if the value of time is less than 12, we will get morning. And if the value is anything else, i.e. greater than um, greater than 12, uh, sorry, 12 or greater, it will give us the afternoon. So this is useful when there's only two conditions, but in the case of time and the time of day, we know that there's multiple or multiple branching conditions that we can have. So a way that we can um, overcome this is by using what's known as the if else if condition set. So we have our if condition, in this case if the time is less than 12, then we can add what's known as an else if condition. So else if, and then again, we can have a condition in here. So else if the time is, in this case, say, greater than 18, we could say that it's evening. Else, we just want to retain our original afternoon. And again, we can test this using our system over here. So if our time is less than 12, so eight o'clock in the morning, and we view this, we get morning. If our time is greater than 12, so if it's 12, we will get the afternoon because 12 is less than 18. So only if the value is greater than 18 will it give us the evening. If the time is, say for instance, 1900, then we will get an evening condition. So what we're seeing here now is the ability to create a branching or multi-conditional logic statement here. Now we wanna look at some additional logic. In this case, I wanna create a compound conditional logic statement. By using logical operators, you can create compound evaluations to check multiple conditions. So let's, for instance, copy and paste in some new code here. So now what I'm doing here is applying our if then else else statement with some conditional logical operations. In this case, we've got the and operator. You'll notice in this example that we've still retained time but I've added in a value called hungry, which I've equated to true. So what this particular logic now is stating is this. If the time is less than 12 and I am hungry, meaning hungry equates to true, 
then I want to output eat breakfast. Else if the time is greater than 18 and I'm hungry, I want to output dinner. Else if the time is greater than or equal to 12 and the time is less than or equal to 18 and I'm hungry, I want to output eat lunch. Else if I am not hungry, meaning that the hungry value is equated to false, then I want to equate that I'm not hungry. Notice here that I don't need to put in the false condition because in the other cases I've been checking my numbers, i.e. my time, and also that condition of hungry. So otherwise we're equating it to not being hungry if I'm not within this particular parameter. So let's give that a bit of a test. So we can see here that my time is one and I'm hungry. Therefore, the first thing I'm saying is eat breakfast. Then if I have the next value, which is between 12 and 1800, so let's say I make it 13, then I should see eat lunch, which I do. Then afterwards, I want to do the test of greater than 1800. So in this case, let's give the value of say seven o'clock in the evening and check that. And now we see that we get the eat dinner um, value here. If I change hungry to false and test this, we will see now that I get the output of not hungry. It doesn't matter though that my time in this case was greater than 1900. It doesn't matter because my um, logic statement here has indicated that I'm not hungry. These conditional logic statements and um, if statements in general are obviously very useful when you want to create branching conditions within your um, code structure. Thank you for looking at and listening to this particular video.